Welcome back to the channel everyone. We're out here today because we got our poly in the mail. We've got our 100 foot by about 28 feet. And we've got another roll in our garage. This is about 100 pounds here. I only wanted to bring one out to show. Now I wanted to talk about poly real quick. This is the one that came with the kit and the little strap they used to tie it around. This is what came with and it is not very durable plastic. It's got that plastic mesh in there but it is not what I wanted to use at all. It's not nearly, this whole thing probably weighs about 20 pounds, whereas this whole roll weighs about 100 pounds. There is a major difference between these two products here. That is all our old poly from when we built our small greenhouse down at our quarter acre property. So here we've got our six mil poly. This is some of our old poly, just so I could show. You can kind of see our brand new stuff. That's about two or three layers. It's kind of opaque when you get multiple layers built up but it is just as clear as this poly and some of the poly we put up on the inside which I'll talk about some of the framing and what I've been doing to the greenhouse here but I just kind of wanted to jump right in and start showing our poly shove that piece back in there but this sucker was about a hundred pounds coming in the mail so it cost us a little bit of money like I said we spent about eight hundred dollars almost just shy of eight hundred dollars on two tubes of poly like this this hundred foot roll right here is going to go over the entire front probably minus our door and minus our window so we'll have a whole bunch of extra poly on this side a whole bunch of extra poly on the other side and once we build our second layer of greenhouse in order to create that barrier we'll be able to put our other roll of poly on and have all that extra poly. We have some awesome ideas for all the extra poly we'll be having. That is why I ordered so much and I had to order 28 feet so I could accommodate to go around the whole outside of our greenhouse and we're gonna have to bury our second layer. Our first layer will be tacked down right to our wood here, our wood frame, and then we'll have our PVC running around the outside so our second layer of poly will be buried down into the dirt here. So we'll just be mounding dirt up on our buried poly, probably with hay bales in the winter time for extra insulation here. So jumping right back over to the polys, I wanted to talk about this poly here. Now I got this basically free with the kit because I ordered the kit for the frame, not for the poly. I was not planning on using this in the beginning. So you can see this material has the mesh inside so we got two of these polys because we ordered two greenhouses and put them together. So what we did is took one of these polys to our quarter acre property and we have some fencing that we're going to use to build a small greenhouse for our chickens. So we will be cutting one of these up and building a small chicken greenhouse this winter. Just another little side project while we're working on all this stuff. There's never a shortage of things to do. Looking behind me, we have our window. I was actually able to get this framed up. It is nice and solid. This is hard framed out. This is not going anywhere. Got my shovel here, get that out of the way. Because we had to dig this out a little bit in order to frame this up. This is nice and solid. This all is nice and tight. There's really no gaps for that window. And you can see, I just used the corner up here, filled it with poly same thing on this entire side we had all this extra poly and this is the kind of things we use it for you can see it looks a lot uglier on the back side here but this will all be tacked down with pieces of wood not just staples the staples will not hold so we're going to come through with trim pieces cinch all this down get it nice and tight so we've got a nice seal and basically have our first layer of window and then we will be able to come through and have our poly all the way on this side, forming that nice gap. Basically creating a double pane window just like this one here. So that really didn't take much work to get that framed up and I am so glad we were able to put a nice solid double pane glass window so that will allow nice good light because our southern sun comes right up over the tree and basically drops over there. So. We don't have a whole lot of sun in the winter time. We will be able to catch all of the light we need to here. And this is not going to be door. This is our only door here. So we've got our door here. As you can see, I kind of framed it up so we only have so much room for our door. This is all going to be sealed up. We will not 
have two doors. I just gave enough room in order to fit my wheelbarrow through this door. That is a double wide wheelbarrow, so that will work well. We'll be able to fit everything else that we need to right into here. This threshold right here will be the main door. We will be able to dig all this out and have both of our sides to grow on while having a nice dugout path in the middle in order to walk through. We are making some good progress. This southern wall is basically framed up. I just got a few more boards to put up and then build our door. So here we are the next morning. We've got all of this build pretty well done. You can see that this cross member here on the door frame is a little crooked. I just noticed that when I walked up, so I'm going to have to adjust this side here, bring it down. But for the most part, this door is in. It, you can see it's got a slight gap around it because we're going to poly the whole door. I got these two braces holding it up right now, just keeping it nice and flush in the door frame. But for the most part, that's done. I may add another brace in the middle and one through the middle. And I might add cross braces too. Not sure yet. It's pretty solid right now, but once I get wind and everything blowing this winter, I'm concerned that it may break or rip on me. But what I want to show on the back side of the door here is that I have another bit of frame because you can see we have about a board's length out from our actual door. I may make a small door for the inside so we have a double layer door system that I'll be able to latch one side and then latch the other side closed so we have a real nice insulation factor on our doors and it's all diy it's all homemade and i'm pretty sure that it's going to work for us because we built the same kind of door this is a nice big door compared to our small greenhouse we have but we'll be able to fit our wheelbarrow and any machinery and we'll be able to wheel all of the dirt that we excavate out of our walkway here right out of this door frame so far i've really achieved a very transparent front southern side of this greenhouse all of these are nice and open we don't have a whole lot of framing just what's necessary to keep it nice and solid coming together well i just wanted to show all of the build from last night and what i have to finish and where we're going with it and i wanted to kind of share our double door system as opposed to having two doors on the front i just framed this up kept it as all windows and then we'll have a door on the outside and a door on the inside. So we're hoping we'll be able to keep a good thermal seal on this first main threshold of our doorway leading into the greenhouse here because that's the one that's going to be open the most because our far one will be covered in compost all winter. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We appreciate all the new subscribers we got recently, everybody following along and helping us out. We really appreciate those comments that help us think outside the box. I just want to say thank you for watching and hopefully we have more poly on this greenhouse by the next time we bring an update.